Here is a part of Nutmeg's breakfast today um, that I'm going to use for um, training. This way the dog actually learns that um, no matter what benefits there are during the day, such as going out, opening the door, having breakfast, they have to go through you and you can use it as a reward to um, achieve leadership. So leadership doesn't have to come from yelling or being really loud or um, being on a leash. It just comes from you being in control of resources, which is, uh, let's say, the food. Um, for nutmeg, it's play, um, it's walk time. Um, the dog will naturally seek um, instructions and it will seek structure. So if we give them structure, they will really appreciate it and they will see us um, as a leader and that helps um, you know what we want from dogs is not to ignore us so these four things I'm gonna do first because that uh, that's kind of gonna happen um, happen by itself and these three things I'm gonna practice this morning um, which is sit pretty and perch that's to strengthen the core muscles and touch because it's just a new thing I want to do for developing um, further tricks such as pushing the ball and things like that so these four things I'm just gonna practice by uh, having a little play with nutmeg a little tuck with her favorite toy where is it uh, she's already excited she knows so this is her favorite toy and I don't leave it lying around because I have a control of this resource and when she wants to have a good time with this toy she has to go through me so we're just gonna play with it to get her excited and burn some energy and then to do some structured training um, after that energy is out um, for the core strengthening after that then we go out and she's gonna have a little bit of free time She already knows the command, so I'm using the command bring me to tell her what to do. If she didn't know it, I would um, throw it only very short distance. Where is it? And then I say bring me the second it's in my hand. She doesn't have to let it go. Bring me. Yes. Bring me. Yes. Then I increase the distance. What is this? Bring me, yes! So I will be doing this maybe for 15-20 minutes, just playing tag with her, it's good for me, it's good for her, it gets out the energy. Now throw away a little treat. And she knows I've got more in here. Look what I have, a piece of chicken. Go get it. Nutmeg! Yes, 
good girl. Good girl, not my set. No catch? Yes. Cut. Good girl, good calm, yes. And now, so she doesn't really know that we've been practicing maybe for a day. What I want her to do is touch her, my palm with her nose, but I don't want to do this where I come towards her with my hand because then patch means that I'm touching her. What I want her to do is to sit there even if it's for you know a couple seconds or half a minute, it doesn't matter. But the second she touches me by herself, then I reward her. Yes, touch, good girl. And I use touch um, to help her with a recall. So if you know saying come doesn't doesn't work, then I give her a physical command of touch. And um, it's kind of easier for her to know what to do and she comes to me and uh, touches the hand, which is a fun thing to do. Touch, good girl! Yes! Woo -hoo -hoo. Go get it! Good girl! Yes! Good brainy, yes! So I don't want her to fight with me for the toy. That's our favorite game. So I don't want her to bring it and not let go because that's my reward. I wait for her to finish eating her treats because she does love treats and sometimes she loves the plate so much that she will not swallow them and then she chokes. So tugging, yeah, that's tug, yeah, that's a game and it's a command. She's only allowed when you play tug, yes, but the second I feel uncomfortable or something's happening, she has to drop it. Yes, good girl, good girl, well done. Go get it, bring it. Yes, good girl, you reward with tug. The tug is what she wants, but she has to go through me to get the tug. She cannot initiate it by herself. Okay, and um, so we will be doing this for, you know, quite some time. We've already had a little bit of practice this morning, so now I'm just gonna tell her to drop it. And no more, no more. So we disengage from the toy. And what I will do for the next little while is just practice her core strike because it's her weakness. I have a little mirror in here um, just so I can see if I'm rewarding her at the correct correct position. So if I want her to see pretty, I want her to be all the way up and not her butt lifted. So I don't want to reward her when she does this. I will get her to good girl. Yeah, good sit. And let her eat it a little bit. Yes. Good girl, yes. Yes. Good girl, sit pretty well done. Okay. Yes, sit pretty, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good girl, butt on the floor. She's using me to help, which is perfectly fine to support herself. A little bit higher. Yes, good girl. I can feel the muscles working because she's easing on her paw. Good girl. Yes, okay. One more. Yes, good girl, yes. And I give her jackpot. Because she did sit pretty, she didn't even need me to support her. And the other thing I like to do is that I have this ball and it's not fully inflated. She's a little bit scared of her, uh, of her, of the ball, so it's building her confidence. She doesn't really like to interact with it by herself. It's really wobbly and it's not stable, so I've got her to come around. Good girl. And she already knows perch. We practice on, you know, stone wall and things that are really solid. I have a favorite treat, which is smoked chicken and some banana and a little bit of kibble. And I ask her to, I hold it very tightly with my legs so it's stable and I ask her to perch. I lead her, yes, good girl. And I release it a little bit to make her wobble. Good girl, and she stays, which is a big, it's a big progress, off. And I reward her for off. It's not what we are practicing today, but I want to be really deliberate with everything that I'm practicing, including the name, um, because if we use the name too often, it's what's called learned irrelevance. 
and that means that the, we actually teach um, the dog perch that it's that, that the word is irrelevant no matter what we do so I, I try not to use her name too much unless I really mean it unless there is a consequence and that way they will learn that when I say it off it means something off thank you good girl that was a good off and so I'm, I'm gonna let go a little bit to make it a bit harder for her to balance on top of the ball perch oh and she's wobbling very good and i would increase this every now and then let it a little bit you know roll around off no. off good girl she barked when dogs do it it's maybe she's a little bit frustrated or she's not sure what to do and she's offering me a bark it's a very very common offering that dogs do that they bark and hope that that's what you want them to do perch yes so if she starts barking a lot even when we are practicing things that she already knows if she does it like three or four times i know she's over it off good girl thank you perch Whoa. oh wobble yeah that's a good girl yeah that was really good that was a good off too perch yeah good girl well and i'll give you jackpot good girl good girl not me yes and i'm glad that she looked at me when i said her name that's what i wanted to do every single time yeah we have a uh, way more breakfast to go but this is just a short short example good girl high five yes